A key component of our portfolio of strategic products are our people solutions, which include human capital management, workforce management, and talent science. I've been selling software for over 23 years now. And when I think back to those early days, one of the first systems that I sold was an HR system to a coffee manufacturer. A lot has changed in 23 years, and most notably, the advanced capabilities surrounding human capital management. Managing employees in a workforce can be challenging for a variety of reasons, most notably how jobs have changed, even quite recently. All we have to do is look at the pandemic and how overnight it turned an industry upside down with a move to remote working. And the proliferation of mobile devices has allowed for access to tools to operate much differently than before, certainly much differently than 23 years ago. Infor offers leading edge people solutions that stay at the forefront of these issues. And we've taken huge steps in our development to bring the full capability of human capital management, workforce management, and talent together. As one of the most strategic and successful sets of products here at Infor, we will continue to invest in our people solutions with a focus on capability, deployment, extensibility, and integration. From an industry standpoint, we will continue to invest in the healthcare space and also make a move into manufacturing. And from a regional standpoint, focus more in Europe and Asia Pacific. I think the proof of a strong product is the ecosystem that wants to be associated with that product. We have many partners who have worked with us for years to ensure successful deployment of our people solution across multiple businesses. In fact, we have several examples of customers or partners who liked our product so much, they came to work for us and now lead development and delivery. I look forward to you learning more about our people solutions and their capabilities. As a former HR practitioner, I know firsthand how important your people are to your organization, especially right now in today's environment of disruption. We know that the very nature of work is changing. It's been changing for the last few years as a result of technological advancements. We've seen changes in operational models. And now, of course, we're all experiencing the impact of the pandemic. So we know that the workforce has also been evolving over the last few years. We've seen a demographic shift where the baby boomers have begun their mass exodus from the workforce. And we've seen the introduction of Generation Z into the workforce. And let's acknowledge that they have a different set of expectations and ideas about what their experience at work should be like. And then the workplace itself is starting to evolve. We've seen the adoption of remote work strategies as a result of necessity. And I think a lot of organizations have come to the realization that remote work can be effective and efficient. At the same time, we know some people do need to come back into the physical office. So how do we maintain the safety and health of those individuals, despite the fact that we've got continuing challenges? And we do anticipate that this disruption that we're experiencing today is going to continue for the foreseeable future. So one of the things that our clients are focused on right now is how do we optimize the way that people and technology interact? So there's a real focus on digitization, right? How do we move forward with these new business models, move into more of a virtual framework of doing business, and in doing so, one of the side effects of that is having more access to data, data about how do we interact with our people differently so we can make better decisions for and about our people. So what Infor wants to do is come alongside you and provide a bit of a spark. So the S in spark, first of all, begins with speed. I saw Ginny Rometty, the CEO of IBM, speak at a conference and she talked about speed being the most critical element of any organization moving forward so that they have the ability to react to market conditions quickly and to bring new innovations and new ideas to the market quickly. The P in that acronym 
is all about being prescriptive. And this is something that Infor has worked diligently on the last few years, is coming to you with an opinion, with a point of view, with some ideas about how to go about utilizing technology to change your operational models. The A is about adaptability. Again, we recognize that the dynamic environment that we're in is going to require continuous agility. And we want to make sure that our software can adapt alongside of you. And then the R is resilience. How do we maintain this foundational model while also Again, recognizing that we can anticipate additional changes in the future. So we need to continue to consider short term ideas to address our immediate needs, but also building that foundation for the future. And then the C, not K, in that SPARC acronym is all about the cloud. We want to give you access to our solutions anywhere, anytime. So at the end of the day, the whole idea is how do we come alongside you from a people perspective? to empower, enable, and engage your workforce in today's new normal. So we offer a full suite of people solutions. These include HR, talent management, workforce management, and my friend and colleague, Matt Bragstead, is going to explain those in greater detail now. Over the last set of years, Infor has transformed our human experience within all of our different products and especially in the products that I own to develop these fantastic experiences that your employees get to take advantage of. And that leads to this exponential value proposition of a one plus one equals three type scenario when you couple multiple of Infor's products together. And to talk kind of specifically about that, a year ago, if I was doing this presentation, you would have seen a slide that comprises a bunch of different products that we were pulling together to make sure that we could cover all of the functions, but we didn't have your employees' best interest at heart. And over the last year to a year and a half, we have transformed every one of these products in this set to now be on a single code line with a single database to be able to have a single employee record through their entire life cycle as an employee with you, whether they're a candidate, or part of the alumni network or an employee or somebody that's on furlough, which unfortunately has been a key feature that we've been able to offer all of our customers right now, uh, and then coming back to being an employee. And it's very simple for those employees to move through all of those different segments. We also now have put uh, the two remaining products that are not on, on this single platform, workforce management and talent science. We've wrapped them within 4OS as the technology layer and put them inside our same analytics platform. So you truly get a complete picture of all of the humans associated with your products. Specifically, if we look at something like learning, we are not only just becoming a platform that you can hang all kinds of brilliant and fun and innovative things off of, whether it's AR or VR, or really empowering kind of that, that one aspect of your company that cannot be automated and cannot be digitized and empowering those people to be able to be creative and be intuitive and be ethical and, and really start to drive a lot of that value. We're also doing it in, in context case management so that employees never feel lost or never feel like they don't know who to ask, especially new employees that don't know about Mary down in HR that you can call to ask about your benefits plans. We haven't stopped just with that core group of products, however. We have done things dramatically within our WFM, our workforce management system, with the new release, which is one of the largest releases we've ever done, called Workforce Management 7. With it, we add things like science, where you can start to use machine language to start to drive your schedule and take into account seasonal patterns or promotional patterns, key indicators that actually will create spikes in demand that maybe uh, schedules or historical averages don't take into credit. We've also done things that are very industry specific. As you know, across the board and all of our human products, we are driving deep last mile industry functionality. So we've added concepts like shift billboards and self-scheduling to, to really meet needs specific to your organizations. And again, both of these solutions run inside our container app called InforGo. So you can run these solutions right next to each other with the same or similar user experience. So it's very powerful and your employees never don't know where to go to get their human things done. Lastly, 
we have a secret sauce that nobody else in our industry has, and that is our behavioral analytics perspective. We know your employees as good, if not better than they know themselves. And we know those key attributes that make them who they are. And there's no bad attribute. That's the most exciting part. But there are bad fits of attributes to specific jobs. And that's where we can empower you as an organization. We can start to help you identify which jobs and which employees so naturally fit together and allow you to not only build strong jobs and engagement for those employees, but also we've now incorporated that into building stronger teams or teams that are more balanced or teams that are very focused on one set of behaviors. We also then can help you with how to communicate to those teams, how to interview a person that maybe has a behavioral skill fit that doesn't necessarily fit with the job. Super exciting stuff to allow your people to, to have their best chance to be wildly successful within your organization. So you may ask, what's the key? Why are we doing all of this consolidation? What was wrong with that kind of best of breed mentality that we used to have? Well, the key area from my perspective is user experience. I don't know that if we had kept it in multiple different experiences, your employees would have had a singular user experience because I'm pushing the needle everywhere. We have groups of people that all they're doing is investigating how employees use our system and are looking at how we can better improve efficiency and better empower those employees to get to where they need to be. And so because of that, we have redone every single experience within the employee sector of our product. We've added a beautiful front end that you can customize for your needs. We allow you to have your own stamp on the employee and manager self-service perspective where you can include things that are part of your brand, whether it's color schemes or pictures or pictures of specific facilities, or if you like particular sets of icons, or if you like particular button structures, all of that can be handled. And additionally, we are raising up information that's important to those employees and making it very obvious where they should be looking, where their eyes wanna go on that screen and really allowing them to never hit a screen that they're lost because it has high density of data or that there's just too many things to look at. So where are we going from a roadmap perspective? Well, it's very exciting. We've obviously spent a lot of time over the last three years working on our ATS. We're pushing on that really, really hard right now. And we're adding in the entire candidate experience to go along with the recruiter experience that we've currently been working through. We also obviously, I just talked about the learning platform and being able to really hang any content you want off that platform, including kind of some non-structural content like YouTube or podcasts and other powerful mechanisms that employees can get just in time learning. And we can really start to enable them to be better citizens of your organization. We're doing deep interfaces and turning, transitioning those interfaces into true experiences with a lot of the other products within the Infor sector and our Infor industries. And I think that's gonna lead to a very powerful value proposition that's really starting to drive from an exponential perspective. And then lastly, we're looking to add science wherever we can. So whether it's looking at potentially machine learning for hiring or validation skill sets with skills clouds, or other spaces that within, within that whole kind of collective that we can either drive machine learning where the system will learn from the users themselves, or we can drive artificial intelligence where we can give just-in-time advice directly in your Teams chat from Coleman, who's aware of everything in this system. So with that, everyone, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. It is a really exciting time to be part of this organization and to be part of this product group within Infor. I hope you've enjoyed a lot of the content that you've already got. And I know there's some still great content to go as part of part of this opening around the human products. Thanks so much. Have a great day.
you heard all the investments we made in our industry focused cloud suite solutions i will give you a brief overview on the investments we're making in services to help our customers realize the value and take advantage of all the innovations we're making to the product last year at inforum we launched infor agility with one sole purpose provide faster time to value for our customers i'm happy to share that we made tremendous progress in the last year we had three key tenants when we launched infor agility one we never start a project with a clean sheet of paper we always bring infor's point of view for that industry to help customers get started with the project second we focus on giving quicker wins or go lives to our customers embracing agile principles versus big bang and prolonged projects third go live is just the start of the journey with our customers not the end in order to make those tenants successful we've invested in few things we launched next generation implementation accelerators that comes with industry process models tools templates methodology that goes with it and also automated testing task subscriptions task services so that our customers can quickly regression test our applications we also created a very unique framework called 60 30 10 this framework allows our customers to look at all the business processes that are needed to support their business yet focus on the processes that are most critical for them we firmly believe not all business processes are created equal so the 60 30 10 framework helps our customers focus on the 60% that are core that they can use out of the box or adopt out of the box and then really focus on the 30 which is configured or tweaked and 10 that are unique we've successfully used this model in fact some of our customers were able to achieve 90% out of the box using the 60 30 10 framework we know that go live is just the start of the journey so we created managed services offerings to help our customers once they are in the cloud to continue to take the innovations we're putting into the product in addition we launched info process intelligence which allows our customers to measure to monitor their business processes with their actual transactional data and then assess the processes that they have to continue to improve automate and do a continuous improvement process Finally we've invested and trained several infor and partner resources and we continue to train them so that they can come and help our customers take advantage of all the investments we're making in infor agility thank you for your time so just to wrap everything up we know how challenging it can be to attempt to optimize all of your resources in today's environment. You of course have your human resources. You've got your fixed and mobile assets, you've got your supplies, and attempting to juggle all of these things in the midst of a global pandemic can absolutely prove to be extremely challenging. However, we want to reiterate that we believe your people are your competitive advantage. okay and when we work with our clients your goals become our goals and so we would love to be able to come alongside you to empower and enable and engage your workforce with human resources talent management talent science workforce management solutions that were created for your industry to be able to allow you to address the needs of today's workforce while also planning for the future and we really look forward to doing that with you shortly thank you so much